All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel, to the Crow's Nest Hockey League. We're here with the Colorado Rockies versus the Saskatoon Pioneers. We're about to get the first face-off. The opening face-off of the league, and there it is. Matthews wins the draw over to Hughes to start the season. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first game of the regular season. We're going to wait and see what's going to happen here. I actually kind of like this camera angle better. Better than the actual true broadcast. And this is the one, this is true broadcast legacy, by the way. So, looks a little nicer. I can kind of see better angles. But here comes Pasternak into the Saskatoon zone. Marner's able to pick it up. Math gets it to Matthews, gets it back over to Quinn Hughes. Hughes over to Getzel. Getzel bringing it into the Rocky zone. They're looking for a shot. They cannot get a shot off as the Rockies turn the puck back around. Here comes McAvoy. They're just passing around their own zone. This is absolutely unheard of. Mm. We'll see if that strategy pays off for them. Here comes McAvoy down the wing. Tries to get it in front. Pasternak gets it, but takes a shot. Can't score. Demko with the great save. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the very first game of the Crow's Nest Hockey League. We do have another game coming up here later on today. It is the Whalers versus the Snake. Stay tuned for that one. It should be a barn burner. Here comes Kane over to Carlson. Carlson can't score. Demko with the pad save, and then he covers it up as we continue this game going on. We want to ask all of you guys, how are you guys doing today? I hope everybody's doing great. I know I am. I'm, I'm just absolutely great. Here comes Petrolangelo. Here comes the Saskatoon Pioneers. A brand new team created for this league alone. There's four original created teams and two I call historical teams. Oh my goodness, there it is. Okay, that, that was a great control by the Pioneers there. Stamkos trying to bring it across the blue line into the into the rocky zone. Reinhardt with the backhander, and I'm not sure if the goalie stopped that or not, but it sure was pretty good there. Over to Petrangelo. Reinhardt with another opportunity, but can't get it in. Petrangelo gets over to Stamkos. Stamkos looking around. He takes a shot. Can't score. And the Pioneers check him. Can't get the puck. Carlson gets it. Over to Pleck. And over to Ratanen. Ratanen trying to bring it in. Tried to get a shot. Can't. It bounces over to Petrangelo. Petrangelo on the far boards. Gets it over to Landeskog. Landeskog over to... I'm not sure who that was. That happened really, really fast. And I don't remember where all the players are for the teams. Here comes Ratanen. Ratanen. Can't get in there. Dobson trying to check him. Ratton says, hey, get off me, dude. Barzell. McAvoy from the point. And Demko with a blocker save. We are still waiting for the first goal of the Crow's Nest Hockey League. Here comes Bufnavich over to Thomas. I think that might have been Thomas who got that puck. Oh, gets it over to Landeskog. Gets it over to Bufnavich. He shoots. He scores. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. There is the first goal of the Crow's Nest Hockey League. There's Pavel Buchnevich with the first goal of the Crow's Nest Hockey League. And the first goal of this game. And the goaltender just couldn't get it. I don't know. Oh, Sorokin. Sorokin couldn't get the shot. The, couldn't get the save. Just couldn't track it. But that is the goal for the Saskatoon Pioneers. The home team coming out huge right now. Let's see if the Colorado, Colorado Rockies can make a comeback here. And the draw is won by Matthews over to Dobson. Dobson crosses the blue line. Gets it over to Matthews. Matthews with a shot. Sorokin able to save it with the glove and cover it up. Woo! This has been a great game so far. Kind of back and forth here. I kind of like the fact that you don't see the Rockies passing it in their own zone anymore. Obviously, that strategy didn't work out for them very well. Gutzel with, that's, Gutzel with the shot. Matthews on the board play. Still trying to keep control of it. He still does have control of it. Now Pasternak has it. Pasternak gets out to Forsberg. Forsberg over to Point. Braden Point comes in. He takes a shot on the blocker side, but can't score on Demko. And now Marners and Matthews coming in. Gets it over to the Point, and that totally went over to Dolan on the far side. Not sure how that ended up, but Dolan with the one T from Hughes. Sorokin with the glove save. 7.24 left to play in the first period. The Saskatoon Pioneers up 1-0. Jinnabad versus Stamkos. 
And the draw is won by Shabenadad. Here comes McAvoy. McAvoy, wow, able to skate through a crowd of people there. He was able to get it to Larkin. Larkin gets it to Shabenadad. Oh, what a save by Demko. McAvoy getting deep for a defenseman. Gets it to Morris. He gets it back to McAvoy. McAvoy was able to take the shot, the save by Demko, and they couldn't get scored empty net. But Hughes looked like he was trying to go end for end or coast to coast, whichever you want to call it. Stamkos gets it to Dahlin. Dahlin over to Stutzel, over to Hughes. Hughes with the shot, the blocker saved by Sorokin. Here comes McAvoy, gets it over to Morrissey. Josh Morrissey tries to get it, but it was an offside, and it did bounce to Larkin. Ooh. Okay, Thomas, Landeskog, and Buchnevich is back out with Hyman. Aho and Barzell on the other side. Buchnevich is able to get the puck, crosses the blue line into the rocky zone. He's in the corner. He gets it in front. What a play, but the save by Sorokin. And there it is. Passes over to Carlson. Carlson. Oh, oh, that was offside for mid. I thought it might have been onside, but I guess it's just offside. With 3.47 left to play in the first period. Ladies and gentlemen, this has just been absolutely back and forth hockey after that first goal by Saskatoon. Here we go. Petrolangelo over to Buchnevich. Buchnevich crosses the Rockies blue line. Stops at the as soon as he crosses, but he couldn't do anything with it. Hyman turns it around. Hyman coming in. Dumps it into the corner. Petrolangelo able to get it to Buchnevich. Buchnevich over to Slavin. Slavin back over to Thomas. Thomas over to Buchnevich. But he was checked. Aho Barzell. Barzell crosses the blue line. Comes in. Takes a shot. Shoots it wide. Here comes Aho. Aho has it. Poke checked by Demko. And he was able to get to one of his teammates who ended up getting to Buchnevich who crosses the line. Gets totally rocked there on the far board. Thomas gets it right back to him. And Sorokin with the save on an easy shot that slowed down for him. 1.14 left to play in the first period, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys are enjoying the game. I know I'm enjoying this game. This game's been absolutely fantastic. Here we go. Matthews able to win the draw, but Pasternak was able to get it. Dobson gets it back from him after he got checked. Crosses back into the zone again. Gets it across over to Matthews. Matthews cannot one tee it into the goal. Sorokin with the save. Like I said before in an exhibition video with 35.5 seconds left, the goaltenders are not going to have their equipment changed, especially their helmets, until next season. Marner able to get it across over to the side there, but no goal. Eight seconds, Pasternak crossing the blue line. Can he do something with it? No. That is going to be the first period with the Saskatoon up one nothing. We will see you guys in the second period. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the second period. We're about to begin here with the opening draw. Matthews wins the draw again. That guy's been a face-off machine in this game tonight. Here it goes. Here comes Matthews. Matthews gets it over to Marner. Marner can't get it. Pasternak. Pasternak checks the Rocky player can't and turns the puck. Oh, Matthews! Oh, there it is, Getzel. Getzel over to Hughes. Hughes over to Dolan. Dolan with the shot off the post and in on the glove side. I think he just picked the corner. Let's take a look at the replay. Here it is. Oh, nope. You're going to see him still uh, celebrating. Here we go. I believe this was the corner. It was the corner. Look at Dolan knowing how to pick the, the corners. But look at the pass by Hughes. Hughes with the great pass. Great shot. Hits the post, goes in. It's now a 2 0 game for the Saskatoon Pioneers going against the Colorado Rockies. And there's another draw win for Matthews. Matthews crosses the blue line. He takes the shot. Can't score. Pasternak gets the control of the rebound. Morrissey has it now. Morrissey trying to get it out of his own zone. He's able to skate it out. Gets it over to Brain Point. Brain Point crosses the blue line. Can't get it. Gets a little checks him with the stick. Gets control of it. Gets it over to Hughes. Hughes now is turning in his own zone. Turns. Gets it back to Getzel, who gets it to Dolan. Dolan looking, gets it over to Matthews. Matthews looking, looking, looking for somebody. Can't find Marner on the side of the net. There's a pass over to Stutzel. Stutzel with a shot. Sorokin with the save and the cover. 16-15 left to play in the second period. 
to nothing pioneers. Here comes the face off. There it is, McAvoy over to Morrissey. Morrissey over to Keller. Keller back over to McAvoy. McAvoy over to Kane. Kane coming in. He's got room, but it got closed off really quick. But uh, Rantanen, I believe it was, got a backhanded shot, and it was. He can't get the puck in. He gets it over to Keller. Keller over to McAvoy. McAvoy over to Kane. Kane can't get the shot off. It goes in behind the net. Stutzel gets it. Over to Slavin. Slavin over to Reinhardt. Reinhardt skating it out. Looks. Finds Stutzel. Stutzel coming across the line in the corner. Try to pass it. Can't. Then gets it over to Reinhardt in front of the net. Slavin take, protects it in the, at the blue line. And now Kane gets control of it for the Rockies. Here comes. Gets it over to Morrissey. Who gets out to McAvoy. Who is looking for a lane and can't find it. But was able to get it Ratnan. Ratnan gets checked by Slavin. And now Landis Gog comes across the blue line. That almost looked like offside. Petra Lines with the breakaway. Can't score. So Roken covers it up and closes the squeezes those pads together and makes the save. There's the big hit from earlier. Ratnan just getting up right away. But big hit, big hit. And those numbers, ladies and gentlemen, you are not going to pay attention to those numbers because those numbers will not exist until next season. So we're not really going to worry about stats other than who wins, loses, and who's going to be in the playoffs. Actually, all teams will be making the playoffs this season only because there is six teams in the league at the moment. Oh! Oh! Temko! Temko keeps it out! I don't know how, but he did. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. But yes... All teams will be making it to the playoffs. It's just going to be who's going to be matched up with who and who's going to get the buys. And there it is. Oh, Carlson was brought it back offside with 10-12 left to play in the second period with the Pioneers up 2-0 against the Colorado Rockies. Shifley, Lafler, and Lindholm for the Saskatoon and Larkin, Jibinidad, and Terry for Colorado. And Jindabad is able to win the draw just like Matthews can. This, somehow Terry gets the pass, takes the shot. Blocker saved by Demko, who's working on that certain word I'm not going to say. There's a dump. No icing call. No icing call. Carlson spins. Gets it to Terry. Terry brings it out of his own zone. Gets it up to Shabinadad. Shabinadad looking, looking, spins. Looking, shoots, can't block. Terry T gets a shot, but Demko with the save because he was right there and saw everything. This has just been a back and forth game, kind of almost. Uh, the, the scoreboard does not tell you that. But to me, this has been back and forth. Uh, both teams playing great defense, both getting some chances. Uh, Colorado's best chance just a little while ago will sit there at the side of the near post. Larkin able to get it. Terry. Terry takes a shot. Can't score. I believe Demko got a piece of that. Gets it over to Owen Power. Owen Power over to Terry. Larkin able to take a shot. And there's Hughes. Hughes gets it out to Matthews. Matthews brings it out of his own zone. Comes in. He takes a shot. Can't score. Marner over to Getzel. Getzel over to Dolan. Dolan with a shot. And a beautiful glove save by Sorokin. With 6-11 left to play in the second period. Saskatoon up to nothing against the Colorado Rockies. Look at this save. Just beautiful. Look at that. Right into the glove. Even gives him a little round the world there, too. Brain point, Forsberg and Pasternak against Getzel, Matthews, and Marner. Oh, point one to draw against Matthews. Powers got it in his own zone. Gets it up to Forsberg. Crosses the blue line. He's looking in front, but checked by Dolan. And then Marner was able to pick it up and get it to Matthews. But he gets checked. And now here comes the Colorado Rockies. Well, the Pioneers were on the change. Hughes was able to check him. Here comes Reinhardt for the Pioneers. He deeks. He deeks again. Gets it to Stutzel. Stutzel with a shot. He can't score. But the rebound. Reinhardt can't score. Another shot. They can't score. So Roken starting to shut the door. Here comes Point. Point. Looks and finds Pasternak in front of the net. But a great save by Demko. And there it is. This is the back and forth I was talking about. Both teams getting absolute beautiful chances of playing great defense. Oh, look at this, Saban. Reinhardt. Here comes Stutzel out of his own zone. Gets it to Reinhardt. Gets into the Rocky zone. 
Rockies are able to check them. They get it to Pasternak. The Rockies need to score a goal coming up here. Fetch Angelo over to Bucinavich. Bucinavich over to Thomas. Thomas coming in. It's a three on two for the Rockies. And the Pioneers were still able to get a shot, but the save by Sorokin. Here comes Pasternak. Pasternak over, takes a shot. Demko with the beautiful block save. We're now less than a minute left to play in the second period. Slavin game board played. 19 seconds left to play in the period. Here comes Pasternak with a shot. And Demko with the save with 7.2 seconds left to play in the second period with the Sask tune up to nothing against the Colorado Rockies. As I said many times before. Ranton versus Thomas. Thomas able to win the draw. Five seconds. Dobson able to get it to Thomas. Thomas able to get it out. And that is the second period. Let's see if the Colorado Rockies will come out in the third period with some pressure. They need some urgency. They need a goal early on or I don't think they're going to win this game. That's just my opinion. Here we go with the shots. 22 to 15 in favor of the Pioneers. So here we go. Third period. And Point wins another draw. Here comes Morrissey. Morrissey looking. Finds Pasternak with a shot. And they score. They got one early. Pasternak with the five-hole shot. Gets it in the net. Gets it past Demko. And Demko is now looking like he might be shaken. We'll have to find out here in a bit. What a shot. Like right through the five-hole, I believe. I believe that was five-hole. Look at that, tape to tape by Josh Morrissey. Able to find him and then get the shot. And yes, it looked like it was five hole by the looks of it. So the Colorado Rockies come out strong here in the third period. Not even a minute in and they're already scoring a goal. Let's see what's going to happen here. And Matthews wins the draw back. Point gets it away from him, but Getzel was able to get it on a bounce. Morrissey trying to check Marner. Marner and Morrissey battling. They're battling. And they're going to get help, but it's going to come out to the Rockies. Pasternak gets it. Pasternak crosses the blue line. He's looking. Finds point, and they tied the game up within the first two minutes of the third period. What is going on, folks? Stay tuned. This game is not over yet. It is now a tie game from Braden Point with a great pass by Pasternak to a 1T that was finally the first 1T that's able to beat Demko in this game. Look at that. Just absolutely beautiful. Beautiful play. Beautiful play. Whole new game now, folks. Whole new game now. Now it definitely looks like a back and forth game on the scoreboard. But in this third period, the Rockies have definitely been outplaying the Pioneers. The Pioneers need to get something going here. Dolan with the shot and it got deflected. But Sorokin was able to find it and stop it. McAvoy gets it up to Morrissey. This is, wow. The Pioneers are really putting in their, their uh, defensemen, pinching them in a little bit more. Here comes Getzel. Getzel's got it. Morrissey was able to get back on deep pretty quick. But McAvoy's going to intercept that puck. And oh, there's a check right there. Body check. Morrissey gets it. Now his game board play. Gets it to point. Point can't get it. Oh, another shot, another shot. Sorokin was able to stop both players on the Pioneers. 15.44 left to play in the third period. I can't, I, I was about to say game, but <laughs> this is a whole new game right now. 15.44 left. Marner with no shots on goal as of yet, but there's Dolan with a shot. Reinhardt, there's Dolan. Dolan, now he used, he used. Shoots it wide. Reinhardt is able to get control of it, but then gets checked. Now here comes the Pioneers, Kane to Keller. Keller bringing it across, takes a shot, blocker saved by Demko. Renton is at the board, gets it to Keller. Keller can't get it, he gets checked, he's checking Hughes. He was able to get it. Dolan got kind of checked a little bit, but he was able to regain control of it. Somehow got up to Stutzel, but here comes the Pioneers. McAvoy, McAvoy comes in, and he's going to get checked a little bit. There's Buchnevich with it. Over to Dolan, over to Slavin. Slavin pinching up. Slavin pinching up. What's he going to do? He passes it. Oh, I don't know if that guy got checked or if he was trying to get a shot off. But here comes Clayton Keller down the other side. Here comes Thomas Landeskog. Landeskog over to Buchnevich. Buchnevich skating it out. Gets it into the rocky zone. Looking. Finds Thomas. But Thomas can't score on Sorokin because he saves it. There's a shot but can't score. Hits the post. 
Sorokin covers it up. 11-23 left to play in the third period. Tie game at two. So here we go. Thomas versus uh, Aho. Who's going to win the draw? Aho wins the draw. There it is. Hyman crossing the Pioneers blue line. Gets poke checked off the puck. Here comes Buchnevich turning it around. He's got, got Hyman right on him. Hyman was able to check him. Carlson. Carlson bring it out of his own zone. Not sure if Oh, Barzell on the breakaway on Demko. He shoots on Demko with the save. Here, turn around on for the Pioneers. Pioneers breaking it out. Matthews coming across. 9 oh, 9.30 left to play in the third period. Here we go, Marner, Marner. Over to Getzel. Getzel couldn't get control over. Gets it to Pe Petrangelo. And, oh, I don't know what Marner was doing there. That looked kind of weird. Hyman crossing the blue line for the Rockies. He's looking, for, I think, for a pass in front. Can't find one because Demko stopped it. There's Getzel. Getzel over to Marner. Marner can't get control of it. Barzell. Barzell looking. Finds Carlson. Carlson with the wrist shot. Demko with the glove save. 7.22 left to play in the third period. We could be looking at an OT in the very first game of the Crow's Nest Hockey League. Remember, stay tuned for the next game. Next game will be coming up in only a few hours after this video is posted. Slavin over to Reinhardt. Reinhardt brings it out of his own zone. Gets it into the Rocky zone. Gets over to Stamkos. Stamkos over to Stutzel. Stutzel did not take a shot. I am not sure why, but Stamkos did on a backhand. Nothing really great there. Reinhardt in the corner. Stamkos gets it. Gets it up to the point to Gooley. To Stamkos. Forsberg is able to steal it. He's coming back. He crosses the Pioneers blue line. He's looking in front. Finds point. Finds past your neck. But Demko was able to follow the puck. Stop it and cover it with 514 left to play in this third period. So we'll be looking at an OT game here. We will find out soon. Faceoffs 15 now 15 to 9 in favor of the Pioneers. Here we go. Colorado has a fresher line out as of right now. Dobson over to Stutzel. Stutzel is going to bring it across the Rocky Blue Line. Still nothing. Both defense really playing really, really well. Dobson crossing the Blue Line. Oh, 21 Braden Point got checked. Reinhardt able to get a Stutzel to Dobson. Dobson over to Gooley. Gooley over to Stetzel. And there it is. The, the save by Sorokin. And Carlson. Oh, here comes Pasternak. It looks like a three on two to Keller. Keller can't score. Demko's going to cover that one up with 257 left to play in the third period with the game tied at two. Here we go. The faceoff against Rantanen and Shifley. Here we go. And there it is. Rantanen is able to win it. Back and forth with the shot. Glove save, I think, by Demko. Dobson controls it. Brings it out of his own zone. Brings it across into the Rocky zone. One T over there. I think that's Gutzel. I think that ended up getting it. But here comes McAvoy for the Rockies. Coming in on the Pioneers. Goaltender passes it in front. Shot blocked by Dobson. Dobson was able to get control of it. Now he's skating it. He's skating it. He's looking. He finds Shifley with the shot. Can't score. And now Ratton's got it as we hear the announcement with one minute left to play in the third period. Here comes Clayton Keller. Clayton Keller coming in. He's looking in front, gets it to Kane. Kane can't get anything going. There it is. Now here comes the Pioneers with 23 seconds left. Here comes Getzel. Getzel comes in, can't score. Morrissey is able to check him. 18 seconds left. Here comes Kane. Here comes Patrick Kane. He looks, he shoots. Easy saves by Demko. The pass up to the point, Morrissey to Forsberg, to point. And there's the stop by Demko with 5.7 seconds left to play in the third period. Did the game tied at two apiece. I think we may be looking at the possibility of an OT. We can only hope for an OT. Just more action to deal with. All right, here we go. Brain point and Matthews. Both in the face-off circle in the Pioneer zone on the far side. And the win goes to... I'm going to give it to the Pioneers because they touched it right after. And we are going to OT. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. This has just gotten spicy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here comes the three-on-three three OT. 
The shot still favored the Pioneers. Here we go. And Matthews is able to win the draw to Dolly and over to Marner. Over to Matthews. Matthews shoots it wide. Marner has it. Over to Matthews. The goalie was down and they couldn't score. Here comes the Rockies. Brain point coming in. Oh, and he skates himself right into a check. Matthews. Matthews on the breakaway. Sorokin stops him. He's looking in front. Can't get it. He gets checked by Pasternak. Pasternak changing it around. 314 left to play. Here we go, Marner. Marner over to Hughes. Hughes looks over, and there's not going to be a penalty. The first one of the game, and it's an OT. It's a charging goal on Charlie McAvoy. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. What? It, wow, four on three in OT. Oh, Pioneers got a great chance right here, ladies and gentlemen, to score the game-winning goal in overtime. Let's see what's going to happen. Dylan Larkin's going to take the face off against Sam Reinhardt with Stamkos on the wing. I don't know who the defensemen are. There it is. Over to Dolan. Over to Dobson. Dobson with the shot and can't score. But it stays in. Dolan. Over to Stamkos with the one team. They can't score. Sorokin able to stop it. And they can't stop that one. Stamkos scores. Wins the game for the Pioneers, ladies and gentlemen. That is the game. I hope everybody enjoyed that one. I know I did. That was a great game. Holy cow, back and forth hockey for a little while there. Great big third period by the Colorado Rockies to tie the game up, force it to OT, but they just couldn't stop Stamkos with a shot like that on the glove hand side. And I bet Sorokin's asking for that one back as we look at the game winning goal in the replay. Yeah, I think Sorokin's gonna want that one back, ladies and gentlemen. But ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you guys saw, hit the like button if you're new to the channel or you guys have been here for a while and like the content, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It will really help out the channel. Stay tuned for the second game on the channel for today for the league. It'll be coming up an hour after this is posted, which will be very, very soon. I hope you guys enjoy it. Until the next game. Please take care, and I hope to see you there.